Hey guys, Far Cry 1, back with another Dragon Champions video. Just going to do a quick little bit. We have our first legendary event coming up. And it's for this man, right here, Solius. So, we're going to take a little look at his kit, see what it does, see what he is. And then I'll go over the orcs, which are needed to unlock him. The ones that I have, and one that's probably really easy to acquire. They're easy to farm. They're a great starter team. I'm using them in a bunch of campaigns. I'm going to use them in arena when I get there. But that said, let's look at this kit. So he's got this leadership ability, which is pretty nuts. You max it out. All allied members of the order receive a 25% damage increase and a 25% magic damage increase. All allied humans have a 10% counter attack chance. All allied elves have a 5% crit chance. And all pandas have a 5% potency for like-minded allies in the group. So if you have Solius and four of the humans, they all have a 50% counterattack chance. If you have Solius and four elves, they all have a 20% crit chance increase, etc, etc, etc. Is basic. 210% of his magic damage, 20% chance to restore one turn of a random ability. If Nightail is on the battlefield, she assists. So there's a lot of sun and moon, sun and night, day and night synergies between these two kits. Lightwave heals all allies for 600% of Solius' magic damage. A pretty big heal. Pretty big heal. Amos' Blessing. Heals an ally for 40% of their max health, applies armor up, nasty up, haste, a damage increase, and cheat death for two turns. So even if you heal, that that ally that you healed gets wiped, boom, they're right back, back in the fight. Death proof for two turns. I actually really like this one too. When the battle starts, all allied human tanks receive armor increase for three turns. Human healers and tacticians receive cheat death for three turns. All allied human fighters receive a potency for three... Pot receive an potency? Receives a potency up for three turns. If Nightiel is on the battlefield, she receives all these buffs. Again, great synergy between the two. This is, of course, a max level. So, real quickly, let's look at Nightiel. Uh, where do I have her? She should be right around... right here. She's got her own leader ability. It's for elves. It's not going to be a big deal. You're obviously, I think, going to use Soliel as a leader, and with all the buffs that Nightiel gets, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to bring her along. Nightiel removes one debuff from herself and Solius, and one buff from a random enemy at the start of the turn. If Solius is on the battlefield, you remove two buffs. Again, you got that, that cross tier synergy. Damage increase and applies it to all allies. Nice. Nice. 420% magic damage, just blues! An ability block for two turns, and her basic, which is what she'll be using to assist Solius' basic. 240% magic damage, and there's a chance that it punctures through penetration. Pretty light. So, the heroes used in this event get Soliel or your orc team. I'm slowly building them up. They've given us two or three weeks notice or something, so I, I might have time do it. These top five are going to be your easiest five to farm up. You got Tromgar. I'm not sure if you'd rather have his leader going into this or Rantha's leadership. Which even as you can see, okay, let's see. Level 50 is what's required for the five star. But level 50, 20% damage increase. 20% magic damage increase. Orcs gain lifesteal for each living orc, so you could have 25% lifesteal. Goblin and Pride won't matter in this event, so I think you're going to want to run Rantha's leadership. Plus, she also has this boy. I love his name. Battle Poo. He's a taunting, tanky, kind of squishy tank, I guess. Sixth character that goes in the summon slot. Morth is your healer for the party. She's got this jank heal that heals up an ally and then it chains to the next two most damaged allies. I really like... Uh, hold on, that's not her. Not bad. I really like Rantha's ability. This, the Hunter's Volley. 
if there's only one enemy left, all the arrows hit that one enemy. Really nice for a big hit. You're gonna have Mar, he's your damage dealer. He's really easy to farm. I mean, later on is where his, his stones can be farmed, but I'm finding him all over the place. I think he's in a couple stores. Martha, she, you get rewards from her. You can see right here, she's farmable in a couple places. Do your, do your refreshes. Maybe you'll get lucky, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll level up. Oh, I've unlocked the arena. Fantastic. See, three shards there. The 4 to 10, 40% drop rate, not bad. Kokrim, you can find him in a couple places early on. This is really easy to get to. Give him a quick little farm, see if we get lucky again. Five for five, boom. Beautiful. Couldn't have gone better. I should stop while I'm ahead. Roll across. Rantha. In the guild shop. I don't have guild coin yet, or else I would. She's in two easy to get to locations. Dawn of the Order 3 3 and Ridge of the Clans 1 12. They're really easy to get to. Really accessible right off the start. I can star her up now, which is fantastic. I'm super happy about that. Didn't get anything up there. Win some, lose some, guys is what it is, one step closer to being ready for the event. Gromgar, you farm him later on. I don't know how easy it is to get here, but he, he shows up in the market. Mar shows up, ah, that's where I saw him. Mar shows up in the arena. Guild, Ranthus shows up in the guild. There you go, easy to farm. Great beginner team, needed for this event. Highly recommend you guys farm your orcs. This Solius character looks strong. He looks like he's gonna make a nice uh, nice hybrid human elf team because you're gonna want Nightteal in with him. And yeah, that's just my thoughts on the, uh, the event. It runs like a typical legendary event. You unlock at five, you can get up to seven right away. It's in seven stages. The experience and levels needed, of course, go up. With each stage, five stars. 5 star orcs, level 50, they recommend, I think, gear 6 for the 5th tier. The 7th tier, you need 7 stars. And I think they're recommending gear 8, so it doesn't seem too absurd. And yeah. May as well throw some arena in this. So, wow. I'm, I'm starting at 10,558. Oof, we're way down there. In a bunch of random teams here. Rankings, who's right at the top? I have a level 60 right at the top of my shard. Ah, it doesn't. Bear, I just started. How far up do the 60s go? Well, top 50. Top 50 is level 50. I've obviously got some grinding to get there. So, uh... Yeah. I guess I'll... Wow, they're all one star. I'm just gonna auto this. I don't even have to worry about it, I don't think. Uh, Rantha, I need you for my leader. I've been running old lure until I get the goblins that I need, or the orc that I need. Until I get Tromgar. Yeah, there you go guys, 25, you hit arena. There's a recap of the legendary event coming in, Solius's kit, Mightteal's kit, I think they'll work great together. If, if I unlock him, I'll probably try running him with Freezer and Snozzy, and I'll figure out someone else. So, as always, guys, have a great day or night, depending on your time zone, depending on where you are, depending on what you're doing. Stay barking beautiful. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Once this arena battle ends, bye-bye, everybody.